Did you know you can control your Mac by just using your face? No. Well, neither did I until I bought a MacBook Pro so I can edit more on the go. And when exploring the settings on the MacBook, I discovered this amazing accessibility feature. So let's go explore this feature and how to set it up. Before we do that, can you please drop a like and subscribe so this MacBook purchase wasn't a waste. The first step is to go into your system settings and go onto the accessibility tab. Then in the accessibility tab, go onto pointer control. At the bottom here, we have the alternative control method section, which is what we're going to use. To carry out actions like left click and right click, with facial expressions, you'll use the alternative pointer actions settings. To set this up before turning it on, you'll click on the information symbol. Here you can set up the actions you want to trigger and the facial expressions you want to do in order to trigger those actions. For example, you can set it so when you raise your eyebrows, it will left click. I already have mine set up, so I'm going to leave them as they are. In these settings, you can also have it so when you trigger an action with a facial expression, a sound will be played or a visual representation will appear on the screen showing what action you have triggered. The next part in these settings are the actual camera options. Here you can change the camera source you want to use and also the sensitivity of every facial expression, whether you need to be more expressive or less expressive in order to trigger each action. Due to the lighting in my office, it was struggling to trigger some of my facial expressions. So on the blink and raise eyebrows, I've reduced the sensitivity required. So I only have to slightly perform an action for it to trigger. But depending on your disability or how sensitive your camera and light is, you can set this up to however you like. Once happy with those settings, we're able to turn it on and move on to the head pointer controls. Again, just by clicking onto the information symbol. Here you have the settings for your pointer speed, whether the cursor moves across your screen relative to your head movement, or when you look at a specific corner of your screen. So if you look to the left hand side of your screen, it will move over to the left. Once you've found one that you're comfortable and happy using, you can then click OK, X out these settings, and again, turn on the head pointer control. Now both of these are turned on, you are able to use and control your Mac hands-free. Now, I tried to demonstrate how good I was at using these controls, but as you can tell by my drawing on this little image here, I struggled a little bit. But with a bit of practice and tinkering on the settings, I'm sure you could master these accessibility features, especially if you have a disability that stops using a mouse, trackpad, or trackball. Overall, I think this shows that with existing features on most devices, like a webcam, and some great software, amazing accessibility features can be simply created within every device. It's just a shame that other operating systems haven't thought about including this feature in their own devices, because I'm sure there's many disabled people that would find this technology incredibly useful. Anyway, I hope you've all learned something new and how to set up this new feature that I've discovered. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all soon.